the QSA uh, was was. Uh, so the 2003 water deal. Yeah, yeah. So those water transfers to the coast that I talked about, that eventually will ramp up, they'll represent about half a million acre feet of water, which is a lot of water. Um, uh, that was an accommodation that was hard fought, and, uh, and it ended up, if you'd have put that to a vote in our valley at the time, um, it would have been soundly defeated. Um, now, in retrospect, it anticipated an awful lot of what we face today, and, uh, and it was probably far-sighted. Um, but it's still uh, uh, very unpopular, uh, because in, in our valley, uh, that water goes to grow food and fiber, and, and it supports the jobs in a, in a very disadvantaged community. Um, but there was a little problem with that QSA those water transfers, and that's called the Salton Sea. And the Salton Sea uh, is California's largest lake. It's sometimes called an accidental lake. Um, but uh, for those of us who live there, um, it's a, uh, it is a, um, it's too big to ignore. And this water transfer agreement uh, did its best to ignore it. So uh, we're now <coughs> about a year away from the mitigation water that is meant as part of the water transfers to stabilize the shoreline. Uh, that water goes away, and the Salton Sea starts to recede dramatically after that. Kevin Kelly, pick up there, because if, if this, the sea is smaller, there's more dust that creates health problems, and it, you heard that farmer could cause far, uh, trouble for the very farmers that you're irrigating. What's the solution? Yeah, so the, the, uh, I don't think that uh, any reasonable person would, would uh, uh, disagree that the hydrology of the Colorado River as it is today will not support a Salton Sea the size that it is today. Um, at IID, we've been calling for a, a smaller uh, but sustainable Salton Sea, uh, a sea perhaps two-thirds the size that it is today. Um, and it is true that uh, uh, outside of the cultivated uh, farmlands, um, our valley is entirely surrounded by uh, desert. So the wind blows and, and you're, you're subject to the, to the winds. But um, the, uh, as the Salton Sea... Uh, recedes, and it's going to recede dramatically uh, in the next five to ten years, there has got to be a, a coherent uh, strategy for how you deal with that uh, emissive lake bed. And um, You think renewable energy is part of that? I think, I think renewable energy ought to be part of that, that uh, uh, toolbox. And, um, Geothermal in particular, not putting solar panels over the seabed or something. I, I think that uh, uh, as with water, in which, you know, the last hundred years has been about moving it uh, to population centers from where it, it was, um, the next hundred years, uh, we ought to start thinking about moving populations uh, to where the water is. And, uh, uh, and I think that uh, 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 the Salton Sea, it's a big uh, body of water. Um, but it's not the intractable problem that we're going to have to spend $9 billion on. We just have to, to decide that uh, in a region like that, where we're trying to do many things at once uh, at a public policy level, <clears throat> that we ought to try and make the area better. Right. Uh, you know, I, I just want to take the opportunity to, um, uh, to commend Fran on... on uh, having spent 10 years at that water board, and, and now you're going to leave, and at a bad time for us because you were the true believer on Salton Sea. Um, and Salton Sea, in many ways, uh, we've established that it's, it's connected uh, uh, hydrologically to the Colorado River. It's the lowest point in our uh, irrigation uh, district. The, the water that comes off the farms and fields, ends up there. And, uh, and if there isn't a going forward plan uh, in, this, in this next year that people in the region can have confidence in, I'm talking about the Imperial and Coachella Valleys, um, 
uh, then ID will be completely boxed out of any solution to uh, a storage uh, arrangement at Lake Mead that everybody uh, has an interest in seeing. So, so Salton Sea uh, ends up being a, a uh, uh, kind of a you know a pressure point, um, and I'll bet Fran that you would agree that uh, if you're dealing with a water fix, and it's it's simply about you know conveying water from the north to the south, as as important as that is, if it's a water fix for California, it ought to include the Colorado River.